The national under-20 men's football team hopes of qualifying for the under-20 World Cup was dashed when they lost by three goals to nil at the hands of Canada in Group D qualifying action last evening at the Hazley Crawford Stadium. Ken Fuentes has the details. This was a do-or-die encounter between the top two teams in Group D, with the winner guaranteed to advance to the final round of qualifying. Ten minutes in, the ball is played in behind the Young Warriors, defence and Miles Morgan gave Canada the lead. And moments later, the Canadians almost doubled their lead, the free kick crashing off the uprights. 1-0 Canada led at the break. In the 54th minute, Lux defending by Brian Haynes' men, allowed Santiago Lopez to send a rocket in at the near post. 2-0 Canada. Who buries it? And the victory was sealed in the 79th minute. Kevin Tavernier had the simple task of tapping Canada into the net. Canada winning by three goals to nil over Trinidad and Tobago, and with it, a place in the final round of qualifying in Mexico. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports. Well, that's a rough one for boys. Meanwhile, head coach Brian Haynes shared his thoughts on the game following the defeat. Coach Haynes, while disappointed, believes there are still valuable lessons that have to be learned. Head coach Brian Haynes says the plan the team came up with did not work, but is in no way casting blame on its players. Uh, my reaction is the fact that we, um, we came up with a game plan, but, but it didn't work, and we tried our best to, to change it. And in doing so, it became more and more complicated. As far as I'm concerned, we as a group needed to work a little bit differently and a little bit harder. But it, like I said, it didn't, it didn't work out. But um, I, don't, I don't blame the players in any way. I think personally, I needed to prepare the team better. And it didn't have enough time to do that. But hey, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's an effort that we have to take going forward now and understand we have to prepare ourselves even better. He says adjusting to the way the Canadians played also affected his team. Um, we knew the way they played by watching the, way the, the video and seeing how they play. Trying to adjust to it was difficult for us because we never played against it before. And because they play the way they play, we had to try to adjust. And um, with the, with the, I, guess, I guess the people that we had to try and play those positions, it was difficult. But um, going forward, we're going to have to deal with it. The TT headquarters then thanked the fans for their continued support. Very thankful for them coming out. Um, I tried to get all the players to go to the other side of the field, not just to, to kind of just haphazardly wave at them, but to thank them because they came out, they supported us, and um, they stayed there to the end. And, um, you know, we disappointed them from the standpoint of not, you know, getting a goal or getting back into the game, but we're very thankful for their, their support. And we're... Moving forward, hopefully this is, is a start for something good in Trinidad and Tobago because it's something that we need. And while disappointed with the result, Coach Haynes believes there are lessons from the tournament that can't be learned. Whenever there's a loss, it's really difficult to say, oh, let's be happy. No, they're, they're down, but of course I, I made my statement to them, basically what I said to you. But um, the thing about it is that um, we had to understand that if we didn't do the job, it's something that, um, something that's what we need to do. So hopefully going forward now, we learn from it and um, don't take anything for granted and just go work as hard as you have to work. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.